Dynamic Automotive's ninth annual car show. If you enjoy content like this, all we ask you to do is like, comment, and share on Facebook. Hi, everybody. I'm John Frawley, chairman of the board of Second Chances Garage, along with Rick Trawick, the founder of Second Chances Garage. I want to tell you a little bit about what we do. We take donated vehicles, we repair them, and provide them to low-income families and organizations in the Frederick area that are in need of transportation. Uh, so we're looking for your donated vehicle to help us out. It's our lifeblood. It's what we do. Another big uh, function of what we do is where we repair uh, cars for low-income families, and I'll let Rick tell you about that. Yes, we have a reduced vehicle or reduced cost repair program for low-income folks. Looking at our website, scgarage.org, you can see if you qualify. Folks who qualify get the repairs for about half of what it costs, the normal repair charge in, in the Frederick area. So we also, for those same qualifications, we offer free oil changes. So definitely give us a call or check our website, scgarage.org. We're here at the Dynamic uh, Automotive Car Show. They're our partner garage. When we have repairs that we have a hard time doing, we send them to, to, to Dynamic, and they do them at no cost. We supply the parts. They're a great help to us. They are the ones that really help us when we're in need of that help. So, And we need your help. Second Chances Garage, we're at 6th and Market downtown. Come on by. Donate your car to us. We'd be happy to see you. Or fix your car if you're a low-income person in Frederick. Once again, Second Chances Garage. Thank you. 240-724-1919. Well, we're back here at uh, the Dynamic Automotive Car Show, Second Chances Garage, and one of the things we're going to do here today is we're donating uh, a uh, 2004 Honda Pilot to the Building Veterans Organization. And so, as uh, I explained a little bit before, one of our partner agents' uh, garages is Dynamic Automotive, and they did all the work on this vehicle. This is Jose Bueso. Jose, thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. It really is a pleasure to be one of your partners. It gives us an opportunity to give back to the community by refurbishing vehicles for Second Chances Garage. And we just couldn't do it without help of our partner garages and all the, you folks that donate the cars to us, just like these wonderful folks next to us, Brett and Sandy Handelman from Frederick. They donated this 2004 Honda Pilot that we're going to give to building veterans today. And that's really what we're all about at Second Chances Garage. So thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dynamic. Thanks, uh, the Handelmans. Thanks to everybody else uh, to make this uh, donation possible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, one of the uh, th we'd like to thank uh, Dynamic Automotive for putting on this great car show today and uh, benefiting Second Chances Garage. In case you don't know, uh, we're a garage in Frederick that takes donated vehicles and fixes them up and provides them uh, to uh, low-income families and uh, organizations like Building Veterans. So we're looking for car donations. You or any of your friends, uh, we'd be happy to do it. We also do low-income repair. If you go to our website, you'll see what the uh, dollar figures are for low-income, and we'd be happy to fix your car for about half of what uh, the local garages do, except for Dynamic. They're, uh, they're the best deal in town. So I have to say that, you know, because they're our partner garage and uh, they help us with everything we do. So with, uh, with that, uh, I'd like to say that our website is scgarage.org, scgarage.org. Happy to have you come and visit us at 6th and Market, downtown Frederick as well. And once again, thanks to Dynamic for uh, putting on this car show to benefit us. Uh, we couldn't thank them enough. So. With that being said, let's start first of all with the vehicle we're talking about today. It's a 2004 uh, Honda Pilot donated by the two people to my right, Brett and Sue Handelman. Thank you very much. They donated the car to us and it needed some work and it came to Dynamic and they did all the work. Uh, I understand that uh, even though uh, Dwayne Myers uh, runs the Urbana shop and Lee Foreman runs New Market and uh, Jose Bueso runs Liberty Town, they did none of the work, I'm, I'm told. I'm told that Todd Zimmerman did all the work, so Todd, thank you. <laughs> They're right. <laughs> Somebody just said that's why it's still on a rollback. That's very good. That's very. I would have never said that. So, uh, the uh, dynamic. Uh, when we get in a situation that uh, is a little too tough for us uh, to, to handle in a timely manner, dynamic steps up and uh, does a great job for us. And so uh, we'd uh, really like to thank them. So, without further ado, let me turn it over to uh, our founder, uh, Rick Trawick, uh, who's going to present the keys to the uh, 2004 Honda Pilot to uh, Adam Wyatt from the executive director of Building Veterans. Hi, Adam. 
Hi, Rick. Thank you. Today, I'd like to pass these keys on to you. Thank you so much for participating with us. And I'm sure you can put this car to very good use. We <laughs> Thank you, Rick, and thank you, Second Chances. Uh, we absolutely can and will put this car to great use. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Well, thanks to Dynamic for the Car Show. Thank you for coming and helping us at Second Chances Garage. And if you know anybody that would like to donate any of the cars that are here today to us, <laughs> we'd be happy to take them. But thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to the ninth annual Dynamic Automotive Car Show in Urbana. We're going on right now, having a great time. Lots of beautiful cars here. Behind me is the blackest of black RT Challenger 2013. Why is this car so black when other cars don't seem to be that way? Well, it's been polished uh, to close to perfection as we can, and it has Modesta coating on top of it, which really brings out the black. Now, Modesta is one of the coatings that you use, a ceramic coating, and you also have a number of different brands, correct? We do Modesta, two levels of Modesta, one a three to five year, one a, a seven to ten year, and then we do Polish Angel, which is a 18 month to two year coating. Mike is Mike Lambert from the Shine Shop, and you are like I call extreme detailer on the radio. Uh, each one of a car that comes to you will spend at least a day, all day, and maybe even stretch into two days for a lot of the coatings or depending on the condition of the car. Yeah, Modesta takes two days because it has a primer element that needs to cure overnight, and then we do the coating the next day. So it is, well, basically it's two and a half to three days for Modesta. Polish Angels is two days. Now, people think that this is for show cars only, and you see a lot of cars out here in the show car district that now have ceramic coatings, but really these are designed for the everyday driver, the car that sits out. Exactly. They were designed in Asia where they don't have air quality like we do here, so they need to take the abuse of the everyday uh, environment. So that's what they're designed for. They just happen to make your car look extra shiny and beautiful at the same time. Not only do they make your car look good, but they also make it easier to maintain. What did you do to this automobile when you got here after driving from your home to here? What did you do to get this car prepared in order for the show? Uh, nothing. To be honest with you, we, we took maybe one bug off the front bumper and that was it. No dust, no dirt, no problems at all. And if you have to, a damp cloth and you're good to go. Yeah, damp microfiber towel and a dry microfiber towel, and that's all you need. You don't need a box full of items in your trunk anymore, and uh, it just makes maintaining the car much easier. Mike Lambert from The Shine Shop. For more information, 410-833-1632. The website to find out a lot of more information is theshineshopautodetailing.com. That's theshineshopautodetailing.com. I'm standing in front of a very rare automobile. It's a 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo, and it's the Super Leggero. I practice that. I promise you, folks. This is a very rare carbon fiber edition of the Gallardo, and, of course, it's here at Dynamic Automotive. Not only do we have our regular muscle cars and antiques and classics, but we have an exotic once in a while make its way in. So the Gallardo, what a beautiful car, and it's here here at Dynamic Automotive for their ninth annual car show. As I mentioned, we have a lot of wide variety of vehicles here at Dynamic Automotive's ninth annual car show. This is a brand new truck. It's a 17 Tacoma. And uh, tell us the reason why you brought this truck here today. Yeah, I bought it here for the memory of uh, three of my heroes. Really, it's a memory of all the veterans that have died. But three of my heroes here, I bring it uh, to the shows so people can look at it and still remember, whoa, wait a minute, we better think about the people in World War II, Vietnam. Korea. I do it for them. I don't do it for the trophies. I do it for the guys and the girls that have died. And you're a U.S. Army veteran yourself? Yes, I am. And where did you serve? Okay, I served uh, in the Army Special Forces plus the 29th Infantry Division. I served uh, tours on Vietnam, uh, the Gulf War, plus the Iraq War. Thanks for bringing your car here, and thank you for your service, sir. You. Appreciate that very much. Thanks. I'm with Jeff, and he's the owner of this beautiful truck behind me. No, I'm not standing in a hole. He is this tall. <laughs> Jeff, you've got this beautiful Viper truck, and that's what a lot of people call it. It's an SRT10, which means you have that 10-cylinder Viper engine under this truck hood. Yes, I do. And no. you are proud of it. Yes. Very few things you can get to be this fast, have all aluminum V10 in them. So it's kind of nice. Now, these trucks were made what years? Uh, 2004, 2005, and 2006. Um, Quad cabs only in 2005 and 2006. And they had a single cabs in 2004, and then they changed the front fascia, I think, for the uh, 2006 model, correct? Yes, they changed the front fascia, they changed uh, the headlights, and uh, a little bit on the rear spoiler. 
The good thing they didn't change is they kept the V10 under the hood for those three years. It's a very rare truck. It's in demand. And, of course, what color is it best in, Jeff? It's always best in red. There you go. Jeff's truck, SRT10, 2006 or 2005? 2005. 2005 SRT10 truck here at Dynamic Automotive. In the category of you never know what you're going to see at Dynamic Automotive, we've got Kalen's 64 Beetle here. He spent a little bit of time on this, modifying it. Tell us a little bit about the wheels, Kalen. Uh, they're actually uh, trailer wheels off of uh, eBay, and the fronts are 15 by 5, and the rears are 15 by 8 right now. Now, is this a car that you drive daily? If it's nice out, I drive it. And the reason why you don't drive it in the rain? No wiper blades. <laughs> but it's a neat little car, 64 V-Dub, and, of course, it's got a little bit of alterations to it. Make it, Caleb, make it his own. You're here at Dynamic Automotive for a ninth annual car show. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. I'm Dave Serio from You All to Know on WFMD Radio, 10 o'clock Saturday mornings, and that, of course, is on AM 930, Free Talk 930. With me, I have Anthony, and behind me, I have Anthony's 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Now, this is a special car in a number of ways. First of all, you've had it for 27 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the 27 years that you've had it, what is the major change you've done to it? I uh, restored the whole thing. From ground up? From ground up, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And you changed the engine also, didn't you? Yes, I took the, uh, put a 427 medium riser in it for right now. Now, it came with a 428 Cobra Jet, yes. which, it, Super Cobra Jet, which is a very rare engine, right. rare for that. So you've held on to that engine yes. to keep this thing stock when th the decision is finally made one day. Right, right. absolutely. And talk about the color. This is a color we don't see too often, but it was called Grabber Green. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the Grabber Green, how rare is that? It's pretty rare. I mean, I don't know how, how rare it is, but it is pretty rare. But the car itself, being a 428 Cobra Jet, Super Cobra Jet and also Grabber Green, this is probably one of less than 100 cars probably made in the, those two color combinations and engine combinations. Right, right, absolutely. And they made 857 428 Super Cobra Jets in 1970. Very good. So, you know, Grabber Green's got to be a whole lot less than that. Beautiful car. Great condition, ground up restoration, put the 427 in it, a couple more horsies under the hood, and uh, but we'll keep it stock if we have to. I'm Dave Serio with You Ought to Know. All right, we we're just looking at a 1970 Mustang Mach 1. This is the brother from another mother. This is the 70 Torino, and what makes it really rare is the engine package and also the color. Tell us about the engine in this car. Okay, so this is a 429 Cobra Jet. Uh, it's had a little couple things done to it over the years, but it's the original engine for this car, numbers matching. Uh, the color on this car is what's called a, a Calypso Coral, which is similar to a Grabber Orange, but that's the original uh, color on this car, yes sir. Now Mike, how long have you owned this car? Since I was 15, 1977. How did you get a hold of a car at this, at age 15 like this? I mean, seriously, this was even rare back when you bought it, and you bought it in 1977? Yes, I did. How did you get a hold of this car at 15? Me and my father had a little bet going. Uh, he told me he would buy me a car, but it would have to be a car that he was going to buy for me. I knew I would end up with a Chevette or something of that nature. <laughs> and he said, or I could work for the summer, save my money, and at the end of the summer I could buy whatever I wanted. So at the end of the summer I had enough money, ended up with this one right here. And I want to tell you, folks, Mike was smart because this car has held its value very, very well over the years. The 429 Torino Superjet is really in demand, and it's a gorgeous car. We really appreciate you bringing it here to Dynamic Automotive. All right. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. All right. I'm with Brian here at the Dynamic Automotive Car Show. Brian has a 2017 model. We've shown a couple 17 models here, and people always wonder why a 17 model comes out to the car show. But you know what? Very few people have seen this car up close. That's right. So I even called them. I said, "Hey, I got this new uh, Tesla. Do you want me to bring this thing down?" And you know, it's not. You know, I'm a hot rodder from way back. I had a '72 Chevelle and a '71 Chevelle. It's probably what people are looking for. Do you want me? He goes, "Oh yeah, absolutely. Bring it down." And so many people will stop me and ask me questions. I thought oh, I'll just bring it down. A lot of people probably haven't seen it before, so I thought I'll bring it down and show it to people. Now we talk about electric cars. We very seldom ever talk about performance, but this thing really moves. Right. I mean, what kind of zero to sixty is this? Uh, zero to sixty in 4.2 seconds. And the way I tell people, why'd you buy this?
this car. So I drove it because it's really, really fast and fun. You know, and quite frankly, it's not a big deal to me that it's electric and it saves the environment. That's all good, and I'm happy for it. But I drive it because it's fun and it's fast, and I have a good time with it. All right. So you, we, we know about the, the Model 3 coming out right now. Yeah. Are you excited about the Model 3? I am. So the Model 3, I think, is going to transform the auto industry overall because it's a, for the first mass market electric car. Uh, it's got almost all of the features that this one has, just scaled down a little bit and fewer parts and a little bit lighter. Uh, the range is actually 300 miles. This is the range on mine is 299. So, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really be a big deal for the auto industry. Absolutely. Revolutionize the market. Beautiful car. Brian, thank you very much for bringing it out to the show. Dynamic Automotive's ninth annual car show. If you enjoy content like this, all we ask you to do is like, comment, and share on Facebook.